up guys today we are doing this cutout transition effect from one of Stora's videos if you haven't heard of Stora then I'll leave their channel link down below definitely go check them out if you're looking for some editing inspiration they're always coming up with these crazy edit ideas so this is the effect right here the first shot kind of cuts out the background freeze frames the guy and then tracks it to the background of the next shot so these are the two shots I'm going to use for this effect. And then the next shot is like a pan up shot from the floor, which is really good because we can use the floor to track the person from the shot before. So the first step is to create a freeze frame. We're gonna do that on this shot right here by selecting the part you want to freeze frame and then hold shift and press H. Press B for the blade tool and cut the freeze frame uh, at the start right there. And then just drag the freeze frame above my second shot. So now we have the video clip into the freeze frame. So the next step is to go over to the effects tab and go to mask. You wanna drag the draw mask tool over this video clip and start drawing around the part you want to cut out. So the more, the more you zoom in, the more detailed this is going to be and the better it's gonna look. As you're drawing around the subject, if you click and hold when you create a point, you can actually um, extend it and give it a nice smooth curve. Now we have the uh, subject cut out. I turned up the feather a little bit to two and then the fall off up to 100. So now the next step is to keyframe this so that it pans down and sticks to the ground right here. So what I'm gonna do is go to the beginning of this freeze frame hit the transform tool and press the keyframe button up here. What I'm gonna do is sort of like track the top of this freeze frame right here to one of these rocks. When I do this, I like to turn the opacity down slightly so that you can see the background. You can do this frame by frame, but because this is quite a smooth pan up, uh, we can just kind of go straight to the end and you can see this rock down here. We're just gonna move this image down and line up with the rock. And then a couple more frames until it's fully out of shot. And then if we turn the opacity back up and play this back, it tracks off with the ground. If the pan isn't completely smooth and it changes speed, then the track won't be really accurate. So you can go back and move the subject so that it sticks in the right place. Just add a couple more track points uh, but like I said, it is better if you go through frame by frame, but that looks pretty good. And from here, you can add different effects. I noticed a slight glitch effect in the Stora video. So to get something similar like that, what we're going to do is select our freeze frame and go over here to the effects tab, go to stylize, uh, bad TV, and we're just going to drag that on. I'm going to change the static type to TV static. I'm actually going to keyframe it. I'm going to start it at zero, hit the keyframe button, move along, and then turn it up. So it kind of gets more glitchy as it goes on. Let's see what that looks like. Cool. So it's subtle, but it transitions nicely. And yeah, there you go. That is the cutout tracking effect. I'll leave these two video clips down below if you want to download them and uh, try it out for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,